Okay, so round two, day two. I forgot to put makeup on, so just adding a little mascara here so I look somewhat presentable. In the next clip, I will show you how to cut your block two into four triangles. So here we go. I have just a plastic table set up um, that you use for parties or extra space during holiday gatherings. Um, I have my cutting mat on it. It is the larger cutting mat, nothing extreme. Um, I'm using a six by, I believe, 28 inch ruler, rotary cutter. I'm going to lay block two out on this table and I want one of the points towards me. So where I'm going to be cutting from and I'm just laying it out on the cutting mat. So I'm able to get from the corner to kind of close to the center but I'm gonna line it up on each point, on each corner, and I'm gonna cut there. I'm just straightening everything out, making sure nothing's wonky. And here you can see my, my ruler is lining up each point, each corner there. And I'm just gonna cut. You have to be brave to do this part. It was a little scary the first time I did it. Oh, and yes, I should have put a new blade in my rotary cutter. <laughs> Note to self for next time. And now I'm just gonna pull that whole thing towards me so I can continue the cut to the other corner, the opposite corner. Again, just lining everything up so it's not wonky, nothing's wrinkled, nothing's pulling here or there. And again, just lining up those corners and cutting. Double checking to make sure everything cut because I have a dull rotary blade. And pulling it towards me again to get that final cut to the corner. I'm just making sure that what was cut previously is all lining up together so it's not wonky. And our first cut is made. There's half of your block two. I have beams in my sewing studio that um, if I stand up straight, I will bonk my head on them. So I have to bend over every time I walk under that beam. The nature of living in a barn, working in a barn. Here, I'm putting the corner towards me again and the newly cut piece closer to you. And luckily I can fit the whole thing on my cutting mat. And take note too how when I first start cutting, I will leave my rotary cutter on the mat and just slide my ruler up to the next point to make sure that I am getting that straight cut. And guys, perfection is not, it's not something we, obviously we strive for perfection, but like if you, if you mess this up just a little bit, it's really not going to show in your quilt. So don't be hard on yourself. There are no quilt police, I promise you. And I certainly am not one of them. I sew over pins, okay? So there we have two triangles. Those two triangles will attach to block one, to each side of block one. And now we're gonna cut, cut the second and third triangle. Notice again, the point is towards me. The flap cut part is towards you. And we're just going to line the ruler up on those corners and cut right through. I think I did all this in less than five minutes, aside from my fooling around and uh, dull, rot dull rotary blade. <laughs> 
Now what you could do here too, to get that center point on that um, inner, innermost triangle, the green part, um, you could fold this triangle in half and pinch it to, to get that crease to show where your center point is. But I feel like my ruler is long enough that I'm able to still get a straight line and be in the center of that, of that little triangle. So I just roll with things. I don't, I'm not hugely precise. Everything seems to turn out okay, I think. Um, obviously, if you have any questions on the public square quilt, how things go together, um, what kind of fabrics to use, please reach out to me. I will answer any questions you have. Thank you.